a lot of people absolutely hate the way the Cybertruck looks. They, they think it looks terrible. They think it looks like a, a child's scribble. It's a joke. A lot of people still believe it's a joke. Even though 2 million people have ordered the joke of a Cybertruck. However, one of the most famous designers in history says they're all wrong. They just don't understand. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. I actually really like the design of the Cybertruck. It's weird, but I like it for this one fundamental reason. I think it's functional. I think when you have a, a, a pickup truck or a ute, the bed, the tray of the bed is what you use for a lot of things. And the way that the bed angles up, essentially turning the Cybertruck into kind of like an SUV in my opinion, makes sense. And having that really small front bonnet, which is just a waste of space, think about it, the front of the car, there's nothing there but an engine or just space. That's usually just a waste of space. And I think the Cybertruck not having that makes sense. That's just me though. What do you guys think of the Cybertruck? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Well, here's the thing. I'm not really any expert when it comes to design. I don't think many people really are. However, the Cybertruck has been called the Picasso of automobiles by Giorgetto Gugiaro. You might be thinking to yourself, ah, come on, mate, who the hell is Giorgetto Gugiaro? Well, he is a well, legendary automotive designer from Italy. He worked on supercars and popular everyday vehicles as well. He was born in 1938. In, in Gorizio, Italy. And he was named the car designer of the century in 1999. So the car designer of the century has said, the Cybertruck is basically the work of Picasso. In addition to cars, Gujaro designed camera bodies for Nikon, navigation promenade of Porto Santo Stefano in 1983, the organ of the Cathedral of Lausanne, composed of about 7,000 pipes in 2003, and developed a new pasta shape called Merrill. He also designed several watch models for Seiko, mainly racing chronographs, as well as office furniture for Okamura Corporation. Gujaro's earliest cars, like the Alfa Romeo 105 and 115 series coupes, featured tastefully arched and curving shapes. Very, very different to the Cybertruck. I mean, we're talking smooth, beautiful, curvaceous bodies here. These included the Di Tommaso Mangusto, the Iso Gaffo, and the Maserati Ghibli. In the late 1960s, Gujaro made increasingly angular designs, culminating in the folded paper era of the 1970s. A little bit of a similarity between these designs and the Cybertruck. Straight line designs such as the BMW M1, the Lotus Esprit S1. I believe the Esprit did influence the design of the Cybertruck. That's what Tesla's head designer said. And the Maserati Bora followed. He changed again during the early 1990s, introducing a curvy approach with the Lamborghini Sala, the Maserati Spider, and the Ferrari GG50. Gujaro is widely known for the DMC DeLorean. Of course, the DeLorean reminds a lot of people of the Cybertruck or vice versa. Notable in its own time for its very unique design and its difficult to make body, the car was prominently featured in the Hollywood blockbuster movie, Back to the Future, or the series of movies. So Gujaro's most commercially successful design was actually the original Volkswagen Golf MK1, one of the best-selling vehicles ever made. In 1976, Gujaro explored a new taxi concept with the Museum of Modern Art, which became the 1978 Lancia Megagama concept. Fiat had commissioned the 1976 concept from Intel Design, asking for a four meter length, high roof, high H point, multifunctional monospace design, but ultimately decided the concept was too risky for production. In retrospect, 
The vehicle was more influential than successful in its own right. It is considered the conceptual birth of the MPV or the minivan. It influenced the design of such mini compact MPVs as the Nissan Prairie in 1981, the Fiat 500L in 2011, as well as many larger MPVs, including the Renault Espace and Chrysler minivan. In a comment to Italian daily La Repubblica, Gujaro noted that Picasso revolutionized the world of art because he had the courage to do so. The courage. He was the artist of decomposition of reality, he said. In this same light, Tesla also completely destroyed all expectations of how a pickup truck should look like when it released the Cybertruck. It could have been a complete failure. Tesla, in fact, thought it would be. They even designed a traditional looking pickup truck, but it wasn't a failure. Gujara's praise is a very significant indicator to the recognition he had for Tesla's stainless steel, angular, triangular, very unusual, the most unusual looking pickup truck, I think in the history of mankind. The legendary automotive designer said this, it will be hugely successful because people want to stand out. It does not represent the search for harmony and perfection, but for emotion and robustness. Gujaro's son, Fabrizio, also gave credit to the summer truck. Unlike his father, Fabrizio, who is also a car designer, also praised Elon Musk. He said, I give Elon Musk credit for having the courage and understanding people's desire to stand out. A lot of people are going to probably see this video and say, what a joke. The Cybertruck is still ridiculous. I don't care if this guy was the, hang on a minute. This guy won the award for the most influential designer in history. Who are we to argue with him? What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.